Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be discussing uh, Toon Tracks, EZ Mix, Andy Sneap, and College Richardson packs. Um, here's a quick demo of Full Victory by Bolt Thrower using these packs. So I hope you enjoyed for victory by Bolt Thrower. Um, yeah, so Colin Richardson and Annie Sneap produced a lot of albums I love. Carcass Heartwork, For Victory for Bolt Thrower, Iron Monkey, um, recently Judas Priest. Um, just great solid sounds, very warm feeling. Um, just uh, just really nice sound to the ears, really. And um, no, like, uh, no overproduced sort of stuff stuff on rails it's all very live and it's all very how the band should sound um particularly what i like about um ball thrower and carcass is that twin guitar approach i love the harmonies that they use in the twin guitar both those songs for victory and uh, carcass heartwork which we'll see later they they have um the twin guitar harmonies which i, I love and obviously uh those two producers must have been involved in getting that sound right as well so um with these uh these packs as well then so when, when you're using these packs you all you need to do is is put your guitar through a, a clean channel through a mixer and then apply the packs preset on there there's guitar so tones there's vocals there's bass there's drums there's an overall mastering tone as well so there's just so much stuff that you can just apply straight onto your mix and you don't have to do anything else it's literally just clean just straight in you can get a, a microphone just plug it straight into your computer and just go and then just apply the 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 mix preset to it and you're instantly going to have something that's eq'd it's nicely rounded it sounds great um the, the guitar sounds are, are awesome they, they do sound they've got that warm feeling um, and you can you can use different ones. I'll, I'll go through later and just uh, show how these uh, guitars sound on their own and how these bass sounds sound on their own because they're just um, they they really do give like micing up amps a run for its money. I mean, there's lots of people who are against digital sort of processed uh, tools like this, but I'm sorry that they, they they really really work. They really work. Um, Miking up a Marshall four stack with an SM57, it takes a lot of hard work and good ears to, to get that sound right and position the mics in such a way that you're gonna pick up a great sound. A lot of the uh, the sound is, is to do with the room that you're in as well. So with tools like this, you can get a, an instant brilliant sound. Um, and this wasn't very expensive. Um, these mix packs, that they're over 10 years old as well. They're, they're not new mix packs, these ones. And I think Colin Richardson's done some uh, more updated versions on different platforms since this. But these ones, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're quite old. but And they're cheap as well. So if you, I, I don't think it cost me more than... They didn't cost me more than $200, these things. Because you've got to buy the, the, the tune track like, program that's, that goes into to Logic or Cubase or whatever goes into that as a 
as a plug-in and then you fire up these packs as well into the tune track mixer um, and you'll get these sounds i mean there's there's tons of other mix packs as well they're brilliant i, I think they're really good if you want to just get down a quick idea a quick demo and you can even use them for for full production i've used these on um one of my albums i used it on a an album called concrete long fumes you, i think you can find it on spotify if you can't you can find it on bandcamp but i use this um on that as well and and it was brilliant i use it on my on my drum machine i use it on my guitar bass vocals and the overall mix as well so they're just brilliant this next clip is going to be of carcass artwork way above my wheelhouse playing um yeah that's why i cut it short at the end because it's just like it was it's very hard for me to play that song some people can obviously play it like amazingly i'm i'm very punky very sloppy when it comes to guitar playing so uh yeah don't judge me i'm just trying to get this um get this sound across of what these um what these mix packs do they're really good really good sound so um enjoy carcass artwork here we go Yeah, just a, a quick and dirty clip there of Carcass Heartwork just to um, get this um, Game Changer preset it was. It's called the Game Changer Amp. So I'm not sure if that's referring to Carcass Heartwork being a Game Changer. I'm not sure if it's a reference to the album or not, but that's the name of the preset for the guitar there. To me, when I play that uh, solo bit at the end, it does sound a lot like the sound on the demo version of of heart work if so if you've got the expansion limited edition heart work you, you'll there's a, a set of demos there of heart work and it sounds suspiciously like the guitars on the demo there but um yeah whether it's reference to that or not i don't know um anyway i'm going to go through a few more of the presets for the guitar sound um from ez mix now uh that and, and i'll put down in the bottom what what the uh the presets called so you know and you can get an idea of what this sounds like and um, I'll I'll leave a link to the uh, to the the packs as well. I'm not sponsored by them. It's just something I've been using for years and years. Um, and I just think it's an alternative to pedals. It's very quick. It's very easy to use. So um, I'll leave you with a, a few more different demos of of the uh, the presets here for guitar and bass. And um, it's got the overall mix as well on it, like a, a mastering mix. Call it metal metal master. I think it just rounds off all the hard edges of your mix and uh, the abrasive sounds that you've got there. You don't need to EQ or anything like that. Just select these things and just use them. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you next time.